Hey guys, welcome back to the Living Soil versus Cocoa Grow series. And today's quite a special day. So for the first time, we are going to switch on both of those reservoirs. The reservoir at the back with water only, which will be specifically for the tray to grow and the living soil. And on the right hand side and the reservoir at the front, we are going to be mixing in some VBX, which is a one part mineral based solution with probiotics, including bacillus and trichoderma. And it's specifically formulated for LED growing and it incorporates their stacks, which is their CalMag uh, equivalent, essentially. So you'll see here, the aquavalves are bone dry. There hasn't been a drop of water through them. So all we need to do here is check the nutrient solution, both the pH and the EC of the nutrient solution I've just mixed, and let's get these switched on. So I've only mixed about a quarter of a tank there, and we were aiming for about two EC and a pH of about 5.8 or 5.9. So as you can see there, the EC or the electrical conductivity is about two. For the pH, we were aiming between 5.8 and six, See, to be honest, I've slightly overdone it. I've put a wee bit too much pH down in and it's not good to mix them both. So we'll keep it at that. Um, this reservoir is going to last a couple of days and I'll stick in a fresh res. So we've just turned on the aqua valve to the tray to grow there. So that is just fresh water. And whenever that fills its desired level, that float valve will tell the valve to stop delivering water into this tray. So now we've got the tray to grow switched on. We will also switch on the one pot system here. So take all these off and we'll show you the water just starting to come in. So I can tap on the end of that, it's directional, so as soon as the water is pointing towards there, we'll turn on. And you should be able to start to see the water dribbling in here. Yep, there we go. Each one of these trays will be independently controlled by their own individual aqua valve. So as soon as the plant needs water, it will get water as and when it needs on its individual basis. That is all the trays now filled up. And again, make sure you keep on the aqua valve covers because if you don't, you could run into some serious problems which you don't want. So there you go, guys. Uh, if you want to see anything in particular, give us a shout. And if you don't already follow us, Make sure to drop a follow and also a like. Catch you guys soon.